you know what a skeleton boat is? Well, you're about to learn how to make one. Here's what you'll need. You'll need two fairly large corks, three hairpins, one rubber band, and you'll need a cutting device, hard back razor blade or some other safe cutting knife, and a small nail, which you're going to use as a tool. Oh, it'll also help if you have a marking pen of some sort. Here's what you do. You start with one of those corks, and you take a slice off one end of the cork. Now be very careful when you're doing this that you don't get your fingers in the way. Just work it around like so and make it about uh, a centimetre in width. There it is and you'll end up with a little disc of cork. That's going to be a sort of a paddle wheel. Now the blades of the paddle wheel, paddle wheel are going to be in these positions here. There'll actually be eight of them and they'll be opposite one another and so if you start off by making the four at right angles to each other and then the ones in between, you'll end up with that sort of arrangement. Then if you want to, as a guide, you can draw little straight lines across the edge of your paddle wheel like that. Then, with the knife, once again, being very careful, keeping your fingers well out of the way, you just make little cuts down a few millimetres towards the centre of the wheel, like so. And you do that all the way around. With your nail, you make a little hole right through the very centre of the paddle wheel, like this, until it goes all the way through, Then just wheel it around a little bit. You're going to make a rubber band go through there in a moment. Now, the blades of the paddle wheel are made from a plastic uh, margarine or butter container. To do that, you simply cut along one of the edges, like so, and then take some slices. Uh, the dimensions are not terribly critical, Although you'll find large blades make it go slower, short blades faster, but it doesn't go as long. Little pieces about that size, and you need eight of those. Now once you've got them, you start inserting them into the wheel, like this. Now if you've made your slots carefully, you should be able to simply wiggle them around until they sit quite firmly in the wheel, like that. And after several minutes, you'll have a complete paddle wheel. Well, you've guessed it, I've already made one. Here it is with eight plastic blades, all stuck into the cork nicely. And you can see that I've also pushed a rubber band through the hole in the centre of the cork. So that's the centre of our skeleton boat. Now, where's the skeleton? Well, here it is here. What I've done is to take three hair clips and to bend them into semicircles like that and push them into one of the corks. And the other cork is placed on the other end and that forms the skeleton boat. But before you do that, you have to get your paddle wheel in position and ready. That's quite easy. You simply place one of the side hair clips through one loop of the rubber band, and then the same thing on the other side. You'll notice that the semicircle hair clips on the side have little notches there to hold the rubber band firmly in position. And then with this cork here, we simply need to place it up this end and then carefully insert the hair clips into little holes, which you can make ahead of time if you want to with the nail, so that the whole thing looks vaguely like a boat, a boat without a body. That's why it's called a skeleton boat. Now, does it really work? I'm glad you asked. What you have to do is to wind the paddle wheel backwards now, like this, and depending on the size of the rubber band and the size of the corks and the hair clips, uh, it'll take varying numbers of turns, probably at least 100 to get it working properly. Now, if you don't want a skeleton boat, if you want it to have a body, there are various things you can do. You can take a butter or a margarine container, cut a slot in the bottom, and just drop that over the top of your skeleton. Or, if you want a cardboard boat, you can cut one out, any shape you like, and fit it around the outside of the frame. If you want to be a little bit fancy, you can have something other than a boat. You can cut out a little man and uh, place his feet in slots in the corks, and he can appear to be walking on water. Well, after about 100 turns, you'll be ready to launch your boat. So you go into the bathroom, you can use the bath or a swimming pool or any other uh, container of water that you have that's fairly large. You simply lower your little skeleton boat down to the surface of the water, keep your fingers and toes crossed and let it go. And away it goes, trundling across the pool.